friends neelam with bn20 uh, i am a solution consultant at bn20 and in this video i will show you how the bidirectional integration uh, between service now and jira works so in the last video we saw how the incident uh, gets uh, created as an issue in jira so in last video we saw when we created an incident the issue was created in jira in today's video we will see how this bidirectional integration works so when we add a comment in jira how it gets ups updated in service now so let's just create one more incident um, so we can completely see the how bidirectional integration works so i will create one more incident in service now let's add a comment um, description here so this time we will say jira issue description jira is short description and jira issue description so again the assignment group is db admin and let's submit this incident So, if hello friends, Neelam here, a solution consultant with Beyond Twenty. So today I will show you how the fully bidirectional service now and Jira integration works, uh, both way. So in our last video, we saw when we created an incident in service now, the ticket was created in Jira. So in today's video, we will see how the Jira tickets get updated um, in service now. So when we update, add a comment or change something in Jira issue, it gets reflected in service now automatically with the bidirectional service now Jira integration. So let's see a demo. So let's do here one more thing. Uh, we'll create incident one more time here. So uh, we can completely see how it will work. So we are creating incident here. So again, uh, the assignment group will be DB admin um, and the caller we have added all the required information in here. Let's change the short description. This time we will keep issue short description and issue description. So we can see if this is also getting reflected in Jira or not. So let's save this incident. Okay, so uh, the incident ending in 205 uh, has created an issue in Jira and the Jira issue key is 956. Now let's go in the Jira and take a look if, it, if the issue has been created or not. Okay, so you see ST956 uh, is the key and the incident has been created, uh, the issue has been created here. So here is the issue short description. The short description is being populated in the summary. Caller is being populated. Incident number is being populated. We can add the hyperlink in the description. Uh, we can also add description here in the description field. So with the description, when we have the hyperlink, when we click on that hyperlink, the uh, link to the incident that was in service now, uh, will populate in the another window. Now let's check here bidirectional integration. So let's add comment. Adding a comment in Jira issue. And let's save this comment. Let's see if this is uh, being updated in incident or not so we'll go to incident ending in 205 so let's go here reload the form let's go to notes 
you see the adding a comment in Jira issue. So it automatically gets updated in ServiceNow as well. So this is how bidirectional integration works. So to make this integration, what we have to do is we have to write a business role. We also have to write a, a scripted API, a scripted message. So we can make this uh, integration bidirectional. So uh, in the next video, we will also see how to uh, create a webhook between Jira and ServiceNow. So by doing uh, this business role, scripted API and webhook, we can make this integration successful. So see you in next video. Thank you for watching this video.